In this active tip, I'm going to show you how you can quickly search your local Inspire resource library to find resources to build your flip chart lessons in a snap. Please note that you're going to need to have a minimum of version 1.2 of Active Inspire to use the search feature. Let's get rolling. So right here on this page, I'm going to search for the word Apple in the resource library. I'm going to go over to my browser, pin it down, go to the resources, and I'm going to type in the word Apple. Spelling it correctly is always appreciated. Now you'll notice I came up with a search of 86 items. I might have more than you. That's because I had Active Studio installed previously. Some of those resources are included in the search. I've also installed almost all of the resource packs on Active on Promethean Planet. So if you haven't gotten on there, get onto Promethean Planet and start checking out those resource packs. There's a lot of cool stuff out there. Now of these objects, if it's an image, you'll notice it'll just drag straight onto my page as an image. If it's a page template, it'll make a new page. But we're looking for an image that looks just like the one we see here on the page. I think as we scroll around, that's close. May not be it. But as I go through and search, I will eventually find the apple. Oh, we're so close. We're so close to that apple. That looks just like that apple right there. But you can see I have so many apples to choose from, and there we go. I finally found the one that's on my page right here. So I have so many Apple images to search from, and now it's so much easier with the search feature in Active Inspire 1.2. Another example here is let's say I want to get a background of Africa and put it on my page. Now if I type in the word Africa and I hit search, you'll see I have 97 objects. But these are not all backgrounds. A lot of these are maps. And I wanted a background of Africa. So what I'm going to do is reset my page. And then over here in the search feature, I'm going to go to the show, the show search options. Now you'll see that I'm searching for everything. What I'm going to do is clear everything and search just for backgrounds. We're going to research. You'll see I came up with just six options. But now I have backgrounds, there we go, that are just backgrounds. So when I drag them out, they will come as locked backgrounds. Finally, let's look at some page templates that can be used for a hundreds chart. Now again, if I type in hundred and I search, it's going to come up with some backgrounds for hundreds. Oh, that would be nice. Just a page full of hundred dollar bills, that and a good printer. Well, <laughs> you get you arrested. But these are not the page templates that I want. So the reason is, is because here in the show search, search options, you'll notice, yeah, say that five times fast, the show search options. Do that with a couple seashells with Sandy by the seashore. Tell me how you're doing. But you'll notice that I'm still searching for just backgrounds. So it's going to remember the last way that you search. So make sure that if you're searching for backgrounds, that when you come back again to search, that maybe you select all or just keep that in mind. So I'm going to select, I'm going to search just for flip chart pages, click on done. I'm going to run a search. And now you'll see I have pages that are for hundreds charts. So when I drag it out, it's going to actually put a whole new page into my flip chart that I can play with or use or show as a number grid. So here it has pages where I can conceal, maybe have the students add that up or do whatever kind of lesson I want to. And again, I'm going to go back to my search and I'm going to click select all and click done. So now next time when I come back to search, I'm searching all of my resources in Active Inspire. Hopefully this gives you a couple ideas on ways to search and how to use the new search feature in the resource library in Active Inspire. Enjoy.